Chico, hold up my nigga, hold up my nigga, hold up my nigga. It's your girl Callie. I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, as everybody else did, woke up and saw the news that Twitch passed away by suicide. Um, it's just, it's the saddest thing because you just never know what people are going through. Like me and my cousin talk about it all the time. Like how serious mental health is for real. Like you just never know what somebody is going through. So. Me, myself, I never go out my way to be evil to anybody or do something shady to someone. Like I said before, if I'm not going to be an asset in your life, I'd rather just not deal with you at all, you know? I'm just really sad. Like, my heart goes out to them and to just to everything that's going on in the world with Takeoff. And not just, like, celebrities or people that we know from movies or music, but just people in general. We People, us that are on the internet or just being in the world, like, we... We come across so many different stories and it's just like, what? Like, I can't believe that happened. Like, I feel so bad for the family. Like, these stories are just getting more frequent, more frequent, more frequent. It's just really, really sad. So, just please look out for your loved ones. Try to be there for them. Um, and just really try to be supportive to those that around you, those that you love. And if it's something that could be buried, you know, the hatchet could be buried, try to make good on it and just rekindle the relationship or whatever. But I just wanted to come through and say that because I just feel like it's just so much stuff going on. It's just really, it's really, really sad, you know? So with that said, we're going to go ahead and start. I do have a haul. These are like gifts, um, gifts that I picked up. Um, they don't watch my videos. So, and that's uh, another thing like during like my goal, like during the start of the year, like I want to start like advertising my channel across all my social medias because now I don't do that. Like I pick and choose and right now i'm just releasing the videos on youtube if i want to grow my channel i definitely need to be using the free exposure doing it on um, my facebook which really my facebook is only my family and my instagram um so i need to start doing that so that's one of my goals i don't know if i'm going to do it at the top of the year but it is one of the things that i want to start doing so um let's get into the haul i hope you guys are safe i know as holidays you start dealing with holiday depression different things going on but just stay strong and know that you can do it and just keep pushing forward because i literally be going through it but i'm just like i'm not gonna lose myself like i'm gonna keep pushing forward you know especially if you know it's not you in a situation just keep going i promise it will get better um try to hold on to a little bit of the spirit in the season because i'm like i refuse i love christmas time so i refuse to let the season get away from me and not get to enjoy it. And then next is Easter, my birthday, the summer, and then I have to wait till next Christmas. Um, so yeah, with all of that said, uh, please go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna do the boring stuff first. So I um, ended up getting, I told y'all my husband's super hard to buy for. So I did end up ordering him this coat from, um, JC pennies and it was I think it was on sale for like $63 or $67. It is a nice little coat. I hope he can fit it. My husband is tall. This is a nice coat and it's thick. It comes with a hanger. It is by the brand Burn. You see that? <laughs> it's so big you can't really see it. But this is how it looks. It's like a thick canvas. It has a hood. Super big. I thought this was super cute for the winter. I just like the way it cinches at the waist. What was that? Was that the hanger flying out? You know these tall dudes. <laughs> the coats be hella big, so y'all can't even see. It just looks like a big hole. But yeah, this is a nice coat. Let's see the inside. The zipper on it is it kind of looks like one of those construction jackets. Um, so yeah, and that's the inside, has a pocket and everything on the inside, super big, and it's black, 
is in my favorite color. So we got him that. And then I just picked up some towels. I picked up three black and three gray because they were like $4.93 a piece. So I just picked those up. And they're okay quality. They're originally 10 bucks. We needed to replenish some of our towels. So now we have six new ones. And I always get like a lighter color or a girly one. So I decided for the guys this time, I would get them black and gray. So pick those up. And then for my nephew, my son actually picked him up these Crocs, a part of his Christmas gift. Um, Self-explanatory, they do have the fur inside and they're just some black Crocs. And then I picked him up these slides and they're the Adelaide 22. That's the name of them right there. So yes. This is how they look. They have them in all different colors. So I will go ahead and link these. Breezy actually posted today that he has some slides coming out, and they kind of look like this on the side, but his has like Breezy on the back, and it just says the brand with three stripes on the side. These come in a few different colorways. I do like the design on them. Like they just look pretty futuristic, and I just think they're really cute. I think he will like them. So those are also from my nephew. It seems like we just came through with the shoes for him this year. Like teenagers, it's expensive and hard as hell to buy for. Like if you have a teenager, then you know. I have been there and done that with my son. So now I'm doing it with my nephew. And it's just like, boy, this is the one I told y'all. He said he wanted a car. And, um... Last year, he said he wanted a car. Then this year, he wanted a $600 bait hoodie. Like, boy, stop. Just stop. Okay, moving forward. Now, this I got from my husband from Amazon. I had one of these my cousin gave me, but something happened to it. Like, it won't charge at all. And one day, my husband was trying to use mine, and he couldn't. I will go ahead and link this. This was like $35 or $39. And it is a muscle massager, and the brand is, it, is it Elator or Elafor? I don't know, but it has 10 different heads with the vibration massager with 10 massage heads. Uh, built in battery to last up to two hours. It has a battery indicator. It includes a carry case. So here are here it is. This is how it looks right here. Can I get it to? So this is a cool little gift. I'll go ahead and link this because you, if you wanted to order one, you could get it by Christmas. I'm sure. Mine's came. I ordered mine last week and it came with the two day shipping. And there's a little extra head that comes with it. it. Also comes with a carrying case. So I got that for my husband as well. Um, for my husband, I think I'm just going to give him my, the rest of his gifts. I'm just going to give him money so he can go. And he wants to get some stuff, new clothes and stuff for his wardrobe. My husband, he is a handyman. He works on cars. He races. He does football. He don't care about no clothes. Like, this man will be wearing a black outfit every day for <laughs> 10 years. So, he said he wanted to get some new fashion. So, he doesn't, he's not really into my fashion sense. So, I'm like, okay, boy, you're going to be looking raggedy then because, my God, I be having it going on when I go somewhere. Like, 95% of the time, I be looking like, but when I do step out, baby, no, my shit going to be on. Um, and then I told you guys I, in the last video, I've been wanting to get my dog some little toys. Um, so I picked up this eight-piece dog toy set from Walmart. It was like $10.72. They have different ones, and they have this one all year. I mean, every year. So I just got this one with the little reindeer. And it has all these different toys in it, which I thought was super cute with the different toys. So I'm going to get them some more toys, but I thought that would be a good little starter pack for them to tear up. And now for the star of the show. This is also from my nephew. So literally his mom called me like, you know, you guys, these are Jordans, okay? These were literally, oh, hold on. 
I also got my nephew this Issy Miyake cologne. If you know anything, this is an old school. This is the throwback. Um, this is one of the first colognes I got my son. So this one right here is a classic. It smells so freaking good. So I thought this would be good for him. Um, yeah, so I got him his first little cologne. And it's the Issy Miyake. I ordered this, I think, from eBay for like 25 bucks, I think. So that's one of his gifts as well. Um, so um, I picked my nephew up the Jordans. Um, these are the Retro 11s in the cherry it says varsity red but they be calling them the cherries they just came out um what's today they just came out over the weekend so his mom this is how they look so his mom hit me up the day you know and if you know anything about the shoe game like me and my cousin back in the day we when we was teenagers we used to be waiting in line we used to be ready for the new releases of all the j's and then when i had my son it was we would be on and popping we would be on three devices five in the morning getting all the shoes we're getting the raffle tickets we used to be on the j's like all the time um i'm not really into j's anymore but this is a nice shoe baby you know this is a nice shoe um but i just feel like nikes are more comfortable to me i uh, wearing a tennis shoe all the time but um so his mom hit me like do you have um do they have the jays out there i tried to go to the mall and grab them but i didn't know we needed a raffle i'm like girl why you didn't say something i would have told you you wouldn't need to call seven days a week before to get your raffle ticket and try to see if they gonna call you or whatever like it's a whole thing now especially now they with the resellers saturating the whole little thing like it's um, if you don't have a plug it's probably gonna be hard to even get the shoe regardless of why i'm like i'm thinking in my head like girl no that's not how it works you cannot call me the day of and my son don't even really have his plugs no more because he used to work for a shoe store or whatever but he don't even really like he's off into his manhood now he don't mean tripping off no shoes no more you know but i was like okay i'm gonna see what i could do so i was online trying to get them trying to get them y'all know how i get when something released it just be going crazy on the website you can't get through you can't put it in your car so i said being an old head i'm like and already knowing how to sneak a game go i'm like well what i can do is go to the store by my house tomorrow so um i went in there and i'm like um because i was like somebody that did get their number picked or did participate in the raffle probably not gonna go get their shoes and if they don't re-raffle the tickets the next day it'll be free game the next day whoever comes in to buy them because somebody not gonna come get their shoes they may have his size he wear a size 11 i'm like they may have a size left so i just called the store or i looked online they opened at 11. i went to the grocery store that morning i went in the store i went to shoe palace at um 11. the little young girls was in there they was working they was mad because people was already calling on the phone trying to get the shoes i'm like why are y'all not coming to the store like why are y'all trying to call they literally not answering the phone nothing they got little attitudes i went in there nice as hell like do y'all have any other retro 11 cherries left she was like what size i'm like a size 11. they came with the shoes it was a wrap and it was like you're the best auntie ever like my i always begin my nephew cool cool little gift so he got these shoes um i'm kind of i'm not gonna lie though i'm kind of nervous about him wearing these to school even though i wore them my son wore them just people are weird in the world so yeah but we did cop him those and i just think they're really nice they're really cute you gotta keep these clean that's i was like oh i should give me some like that's a nice shoe right there and my nephew like we're not rewarding bad behavior like my nephew literally got like all a's and one b even my niece got all a's and b's like super smart kids sweet kids respectful kids so i don't mind going the extra mile for my babies so yeah guys that will conclude the low haul we we secured the bag with the j's because we got an old grandpa coat. We got the dog something. We got the massager. Those are just a few of the gifts. I do have some other gifts, but I can't show them because they have my cousin's gift inside and she watches my videos. Hey, cousin, I love you. Um, so I'm probably going to go have, hopefully have lunch with her tomorrow. So hopefully, guys, we will be going out and doing a vlog, putting some clothes on and going outside tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I have a tooth in the back. It's not painful, but it needs to be pulled. It has a hole in it. I've been trying to get it pulled and just... Every time it's just been something where I cannot get this, get the consultation to get this tooth pulled. So hopefully tomorrow that's the start to that. And then we're probably going to meet her for lunch um, in a spot um, we've been talking about going to. So hopefully we can get that done. I just wanted to, like I said, my goal for myself and my channel is to stay consistent because that has been an issue in the past. Me not being able to stay consistent. 
So I feel like for the last maybe two months, I've been trying to do that and been doing a pretty good job. So I just wanted to come share those little few. I had packed them all up with the gifts and I was like, okay, no, I gotta do a haul for my ladies and gents. We gotta keep the hauls going. We gotta keep the videos going. So um, I just wanted to come through and share that stuff. Those are just some of the things I got my loved ones. Um, Christmas is literally like next week. Like, So I'm probably gonna chill out, wrap a few of these gifts, start wrapping my gifts so I don't have so much to wrap at one time. And be done with it i hope you guys stay safe stay blessed love on your loved ones man if you can love on your loved ones and if you can bury the hatchet if it's a problem or some drama you can bury the hatchet bury it it's not worth it if they loyal and the loyalty is, is there bury the hatchet man i love y'all into my next video Deuce.